But English, yes, that I can manage. So yeah, I've been coming to this festival now for the last few years. I think maybe this is the third or fourth time I've been, I forget. Of course, this year there's one very significant difference. That is that our senior member here locally, His Holiness Bhakti Shuran Shantakar Swami Maharaj, is just not here with us. Well, yes, very saintly and gentle person. And, well, I think Krishna, I think God decided he wanted his association. Yeah. Because in, in Krishna consciousness, we, we really t try to take God in a very personal way. Yeah, that God is not just like a, an authority figure, but God can be our friend. God can be like our Father. Well, after all, Jesus said he was the Son of God, which means God's a Father. Yeah, and fathers have sons, they also, they have wives. They have friends, parents. It's a whole, as we understand in the Kingdom of God, it's, you could say, a whole social environment. And underlying everything, the foundation which is holding everything together is the mood of love. Why, why do they do the right things and not do the wrong things? It's not because they, they are afraid of being punished if they do something wrong. They're not trying just to get, you know, some, what would you say, sort of like a gold star. Right, like at school we try and get a gold star from the teacher. If you do the right things, then, well, you get some sort of recognition like that. But in the Kingdom of God, at least according to the conceptions of Krishna Consciousness, everyone is doing everything simply out of love. Of course, we also have a conception of God as the controller. Sort of like the king or the boss or the president. Who's, uh, you know, managing things and overseeing things. But in Krishna consciousness, we understand that particular concept of God is, is lower than the lovable aspect of God. And therefore our spiritual master Prabhupada, who's I don't know if you can see, but the pictures on the back there on the wall. He gave an interesting example. That you may have some big important person like 
a high court judge. Jūs galbūt turiet kaut kā nors labi svarbēs, es mēģinu, ka apšaut sēdīs matīs ejā pavīšu. So he's there in the courthouse every day. Ir es tikai kādā dienā tīs mē. And when people come in, they must bow before him. Jūs mūnas kādā dienā prevaļojam uz lengti. They must address him as usually something like your honor. Ja tur ir ikrīptas, ka pat pavīšu jūsu kelnība. And if they, you know, if they say something misleading in front of him, they can become prosecuted. Like contempt of court. In some countries, when you go out of the courtroom, you have to walk out backwards. Ka išeinėjus teismą turėjus šeitį atbūlas. You're not allowed to turn your back on the judge. Neleidžia sukti savo nugaros teisėjų. So, in other words, it's a highly respectful type of environment. Taigi, tokia aprinka yra labai verta pagarbos, reiklaujantį pagarbos. But then in the evening, the judge goes home to his family. Bet to vakare teisėjas parėjo namo. And when he arrives at home, what do you think that his wife does? Does she bow down to him? Your honor. You know, <laughs> whatever pleases you, your honor. Whatever you say, I must do. Anyway, where I come from, they don't do like that. <laughs> In Lithuania, do, do you ladies do that? Does she do it? Anyway, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. And Prabhupada told the story of when he went to visit a high court judge at the judge's home. That the uh, sort of the assistant um, told Prabhupada, just sit down and wait, he's busy and we'll let you know when he's free. So Prabhupada is sitting and waiting. Little time is passing. Then in an adjoining room, he heard some unusual sounds. Sort of like shuffling sounds. A bit of bumping. A little bit of banging. Some childish laughing. And Prabhupada was thinking, gosh, what's going on in this next room? So he decided to have a look. And what did he see in that room? There was the High Court Judge, Your Honor, Sir on his hands and knees. And his grandson was riding on his back. In English we might call that playing horsey. <laughs> yeah. But but in the court, anyway, you know what it was like in the court. So the thing is, I mean, important question. Which is more important to him? Being the very respectful, respectable judge or being, you know, the intimate member of the family. Būti tuo gerbiamo teisėjų, ar būti paprastų intimių narių šeimos? Well, actually, being the intimate member of the family is more special to him. Jam, 
turbūt ir svarbiau būti intimių šeimos nariu. And he is working as a judge just to support the family situation. Ir jis teisėjo dirba tik tam, kad palaikytų tą situaciją šeimoje. Yes. And sometime he'll retire, but he'll still be a member of the family. Ir kažkada jis išėjus į pensiją, bet jis jūs tiek bus šeimos nariu. So like this, Prabhupada would say that Krishna, our, our conception of God as Krishna means God at home. Taigi, Prabhupada sakydavo, kad mūsų dievo koncepcija yra, kad Krišna yra tas dievas, kuris yra namuose. Not, not God at work. Ne dievas darbė. Yeah. So in other words, very lovable, uh, a very lovable, lovable person, Who, who has real feelings. I'm looking at the pictures on the wall. The, the only one... Oh, well, no, look. That, that's a good one. Okay, okay, yes. This is Krishna. Hey, Krishna. Um, he is in the countryside. He is Kaime. He is actually... He is a country boy. And he has friend, different types of friends and associates. And yeah, and he's living a sort of a village way of life. Yes, means a very natural way of life. In the village, everyone knows each other. And at least in a nice village, everyone is ready to help each other. In the cities, it's often, often different. People just stick to themselves. So, so therefore, in Krishna consciousness, we do encourage the village lifestyle means like a, a real village lifestyle. You know, I visit Russia a lot. I'm going there on Monday. And we drive around. I've driven all over, taken trains all over Russia. And there are many villages And of course, in, in some of the people in the villages are very nice. But among some people in the cities, there's the idea that if someone lives in a village, it means they're sort of a useless type of person. They, they yeah, oftentimes they considered to be drunkards. Yeah. And even, you know, maybe you won't believe this, but I was driving and we were driving in Siberia a couple of years ago. In between what? In between Bisk and Novakuznets. And we drove through one village. Guess what the name it was is? Musa. Musa. Musa, Musa. Rubbish. Musa. 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 <laughs> oh gosh. But so so we're encouraging village life. But not just for lazy people. But just you know, people who cannot sort of become successful in the city. But to live a more natural way of life in harmony with nature and in harmony with God. 
harmonija je sugamta ir harmonija su Dievu. And therefore I love coming here. Dėl to man labai patinka čia atvykti. I come once or twice a year usually. Aš atvykstu čia dažniausiai vieną, du kartus per metus. And it's nice seeing these very intelligent, capable devotees living very nice ways of life. Ir labai smagu matyti šios protingus, daug ką sugebančius atsidavusius, kurie gyvena šį paprastą gyvenimo būdą. So anyway, to all of you who are resident here, all of you who are resident here, please carry on. Taigi visi, kurie čia gyvena, prašau, teskite. Paldžiat, ja. Teskite. And, no, really, really, if you're not involved in Krishna consciousness, that's okay. Ir jeigu jūs nepraktikuojate Krišnos sąmonės, tai nieko tokio. But try and understand what it's about, what it means. Pabandykite suprasti, bent jau, apie ką jį, ką jį reiškia. Look a little bit beneath the surface. Pasistengite pažiūrėti giliau paviršiaus. Surface appearances can be misleading. Paviršutinis vaizdas dažnai būna iškriptas. And try and understand that the heart of the matter of Krishna consciousness. And you'll find there's something very universal. It's very wonderful. And it really brings out the best in everyone. So again, thank you very much. And I will call on His Holiness Dear Ashanta Maharaj now to address us. Srila Prabhupada Ki. This is a verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 21, Text 18. Of all the devotees, this Govardhan Hill is the best. Iš visų atsidravusių, čia sako, geriausia atsidavęs yra Govardhano kalnas. O my friends, this hill supplies Krishna and Balaram along with their calves, cows and cover friends. O mano draugai, šitas kalnas suteikia visiems pirmukams, karvėms ir žėlėms. With all kinds of necessities. Water for drinking. Very soft grass. Caves. Fruits. 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 Flowers. And vegetables. In this way, the hill offers respects to the Lord. Being touched by the lotus feet of Krishna and Balaram, 
Govardhan Hill appears very jubilant. Govardhan Akal is sweet to jokes, ma'am. Can you go over down? Yeah. Well, this is um, <clears throat> how Govardhan serves the Lord. She could go and hand us the Naya Vishwish. Of course, Govardhan is Krishna too, so he's Krishna and the best devotee of Krishna. Go and hand us the Pogir Krishna, because Ir Krishna, Ir Gehasa Sasadat. It sounds like a little bit of a contradiction. That he is Krishna, but he is a devotee. I cannot say that I'm a devotee and I'm also Krishna. So use the name of the material world, you're either one or the other. So, we were discussing this this morning in class. How there are so many contradictions within Krishna consciousness. Especially when it's concerned with Krishna. And the Sri Shapanishad has mentioned a few of these contradictions. When Krishna walks, but he doesn't walk. Krishna vaikshta, so he either walks or he doesn't walk. Usually that's how we think. You cannot walk and not walk. You have to choose one of the two. But in regards to Krishna, he walks but he doesn't walk. But Krishna is He's very far, but he's also very close. And there's so many more of these contradictions within Krishna consciousness. Indicating that we cannot actually understand um, Krishna and the spiritual world and even his devotees just from an intellectual so this way, Govardhan Hill is inconceivably great. In the Garga Samhita is is one past time. Well, actually, this was when Krishna was about to descend to the material world. And he asked Radharani, can you come with me? We can continue our lila in the material world. But Radharani said, well, even if you're there, I would not really be satisfied unless Vrindavan uh, came with us. So I will not go unless Govardhan is there, unless Yamuna is there. And the different forests of Vrindavan. So then Krishna said, let it be so. So he made an arrangement that Vrindavan uh, came to this material world. And Prabhupada gives an example of um, an embassy of, of, or a foreign country having an embassy in a foreign land. That the embassy actually is not under the jurisdiction of that particular foreign land. The country has placed the embassy in the foreign land. But it's not under the jurisdiction of that land. So in the same way, 
let's say Delhi has has an embassy, a French this French embassy, a French embassy within Delhi. It's not under the jurisdiction of India. Tai tarkim yra Prancūzijos ambasada Delhiuje. Tai nereiškia, kad Prancūzijos ambasada priklauso Delhiui. In many ways it's very independent. Labai daugumą labai iš daugumą aspektų ne nepriklausomai. In the same way when the Vrindavan appeared in the land of India. Kaip pat būdu, kai Vrindavanas nusileido Indijos žemėje, it remains transcendental. Jis vis tiek yra transcendentinis. It's transcendentally situated even though it's within this world. Jis yra transcendentinis šiam pasauliu, nors yra šiam pasauliu. And we realize that very quickly when we go to Vrindavan. We only need to stay for a couple of days. Ir nuvykė Vrindavaną, užtenka pabūt vos porą savaičių, kad tai suprasti. And we feel the impact of its potency. Ir mes jaučiame jo potencijos ar galios poveikį. We can go anywhere else and not experience the same experience. Mes galime vykti kur tik nori kitur ir to paties nepajusim. And, you know, within a few days, suddenly you become very peaceful, less stressed. We feel transcendentally situated, and we easily chant our rounds. Everything about our our experience becomes much more easier than before. We are proper, poor and no. We watch the Ramibe, we watch the transcendent Nasavasti, we watch the Kats Dogle, we watch the Shantus Fordus. This is must be the same given or passed out of language. This is. In one sense, we can say the same here. That Govardhan has um, has manifested here. We put God in a certain way. God Govardhan has has arrived here. Well, let me say first what happened when Govardhan came here. But that God was here. Cast it to Tiko. Who Govardhan should have slayed? God was close. Also very interesting that all the mountains. Kad visi kalnai paid respect to Govardhan Hill. Jie pagelbė Govardhano kalną. As Govardhan Hill arrived, all the mountains. Kai Govardhano kalnas nusileido, visi kalnai pagelbė Govardhano kalną. Mount, Mount, what's the mountain in the hub of the universe? Shumero. Shumero kalnas, kuris yra Visatos viršuje, Himalayan mountains, Himalayų kalnai, and many other mountains. Ir daugybė kitų kalnų. They not only offered respects and prayers to Govardhan when he appeared. Jie ne tik gerbė ir mėlėsi Govardhanui, kai jis nusileido. But they also circumambulated. Bet to pačiu suko aplinkyrotus. And announced, you are the king of all mountains. Ir garsiai skelbė, kad tu esi kalnų karalius. We welcome you. Mes tame, mes sveikiname tave atvykusi. So anyway, as I was saying, in the same way, Govardhan Hill has appeared here. Tokiu pat būdu, ir čia nusileido Govardhano kalnas. We are celebrating today the appearance of Govardhan as the annual appearance day. Mes švenčiame dabar kasmetinę Govardhano ateimo šventę. And we can meditate on the the significance of this event that if all the mountains offer the basis of his prayers and respects to go down, so why shouldn't we? And just as go down in, in uh, India, in Vrindavan, is transcendentally situated anywhere where Govardhan appears is also a transcendental place. Ir visai kaip ir Indijoje Govardhanas yra transcendentinis tai vietai. Taip ir bet kur kitur, kur tu Govardhanas nužengė, jis yra transcendentinis. So we shouldn't see Govardhan as just a stone. Taigi mes neturėtume galvot, kad tai tiesiog yra kažkoks akumo. But Krishna himself. Bet yra pats Krishna. And the more devotion we offer him, the more worship we give. And what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And 
Gordhan will reciprocate with that worship. Gordhan is my atsakis ita ita pagarba. So it's my also great pleasure to be here. I was here last year. It was a wonderful festival, and I was invited this year, and I'm feeling very honored to be here. Man labai malonu, aš buvau čia pernai ir dabar vėl esu pakviestas ir jaučiuosi labai pagerbtas, kad mane pakvietė. Atikiuosi mane kas net pakviesti. Sveskime šią šventę, Gordano ateimo šventę. Gerai Gordano. Gerai.